Namaste to everyone. We can start with uh, Devendra Singh Sekhawaji. Uh, Devendra Singh Namaste. Uh, Devendra Singh Sekhawaji is a former AR Pomerod uh, retired, presently working as Dean Academics at FX University Jaipur. Uh, he has done his first workshop very recently, that is from uh, 29th May, June, uh, 29th May, 2023. So after that, he has connected to this morning session. So we are, uh, over to you. Thank you. Namaste to Sharmila Didi, Sunil Bhaiya, Tara Prasanna Bhaiya, and all my dear co-explorer. I am retired Air Commodore Devinder Singh Shekhawat. After serving Indian Air Force for 34 years, retired in September 21. Post-retirement, I decided to contribute in the area of education. So I joined Apex University, Jaipur, as Dean Academics in February 22. Since then, I am working here. As far as my family is concerned, I have three sisters. They all are married and well settled. I have one son completed his MTech from MNIT Jaipur this year. Wife is homemaker. My parents are staying with us at Jaipur. As far as my association with UHV is concerned, it happened coincidentally. Coming from defense to academics, initial days in the university, I was actually trying to understand and making myself familiar with working culture and getting adjusted in new environment. I came to know about UHV when one, or one day in one of the meetings, Vice Chancellor had mentioned that university coordinators are to be nominated. He stressed that faculty should undergo UHV online workshop so that we have trained faculty and introduce UHV in our UG courses. He had also mentioned that few faculty members were detailed in the past to undergo this workshop. However, they could not complete due to various reasons. At present, there is no teacher trained. After listening this, I volunteered for this workshop. Though I was not knowing about the content of the course, I made few assumptions based on the inputs received from the other faculty members who have done this workshop partially. With this mindset, if I decided if I will not like, I will quit and I joined this workshop. As the workshop commenced on the first day itself, that is 29th May, I felt the impact. I realized that this is different. It is scientific and not based on belief system. Once I completed the workshop, I still remember when Ch Vice Chancellor had asked me about my experience of the workshop, I debriefed him in a single line that it is a journey from manana to janana. Nothing is forced. Everything is to be taken up as a proposal and self-exploration is to be done. Once I found that this content is very useful, I made handouts of the content, con content and forwarded to all 300 faculty members. In addition to this, I asked all faculty members, including Vice Chancellor Sir, to undergo this course. Since SODECA, social outreach, discipline and extracurricular activities is already part of the curriculum of all disciplines, we have made certain changes in conducting this SODECA based on our understanding from UHV. We have introduced this course now in UG courses, that is BA, BSc, BCom first year, and offered an option as a value-added course for other students. Now we are planning to organize an FDP on UHV for faculty members in near future. In this regard, Dr. Munshi, regional coordinator, has already visited to our university. Once I got an opportunity to be part of this eighth batch of morning session, I was happy and enthusiastic 
in the sense that I will be able to see self by self and material by self. Let me share with you that I created certain expectations before attending this session. And I thought this session will change my perception. I will be happy and calm. Nothing can disturb me. With this notion, my journey of morning session started. However, on the first day itself, there was an uncomfortable situation as the timing of morning session and my morning walk were coinciding. I thought I will change my walk timing I was, as I was having a strong belief that one task at a time can deliver positive results. Anyway, due to time constraint and some other reasons, listening of UHV continued along with my morning walk. Sometimes I was attending, sometimes there were disturbances due to my morning walk colleagues who were inquiring about this, my busyness in this course. Into the bargain, I was not very attentive. Honestly speaking, I could not give my 100%. Notwithstanding this, whatever little bit I worked on myself, I felt some changes in me before and after morning session. My understanding on various issues has improved. Earlier, if tasks were not getting completed within the specified time frame, I used to get disturbed. Now, I have developed better clarity and started planning the task in an effective manner based on availability of time and other resources. Even if task is not completed, I revise time frame and identify for delay and then take corrective measures. Even if this is also not achieved due to any reason, I ensure remain calm. Time for everything, everything is on time, is my right understanding. As far as relationship is concerned, I started focusing on my role and participation. For example, I have started spending quality time with my family, including my parents. Another example in this regard is, I used to get disturbed when my wife and mother used to complain against each other. Based on my right understanding, sometimes I take decision to remain silent and see both of them as similar. With this, there is an improvement in relationship. Of course, there are still occasions when feeling of opposition comes inside, but I don't express outside. Coming to the exercise one and two. Frankly speaking, I felt the biggest challenge in the first step itself, that is AOR, awareness, observations, and no reaction. I observed that my thoughts get entangled and sometimes I flow with the thoughts and later regret why I was thinking or doing like this. Sometimes I'm unable to recall my thoughts and feelings when I do review of the day in the evening. I know observing thoughts, desires, expectations, and feelings continuously will be requiring a dedicated effort and for which I am determined. Notwithstanding this, when I do meditation, I see myself as a center of the universe or pure observer and get feeling of harmony. I also feel that I am radiating peace, love and happiness. That time I also uh, get feeling of harmony, relationship and coexistence. Although I am able to perform this meditation activity only for few seconds, but I feel peaceful, comfortable and wants to stay in this state for a longer period. Challenge comes when I interact with family members and other people during the work. And I observe that my thoughts are sometimes automated and most times based on preconditioning. A simple example in this regard, which I have been following from my childhood days, my father taught me in my school days that OM should be written on the top of the page for starting any important written work. He explained that once OM is written, it means we are dedicating our work to God and this may lead to creative ideas. This continued when I questioned and explored it I found it was based on my preconditioning. 
another example of preconditioning is my strong belief on discipline when people were not punctual and pdcs that is probable date of completions were not being met in the university i was getting disturbed after uhv my perception had changed and I started playing my role to enhance their competence without getting affected my stability in this regard i have prepared a self discipline module for faculty and student with some question answers so that they can explore themselves to determine their discipline quotient and take corrective measures in a planned manner to improve that now feeling of tera mera has been reducing i have started seeing similarity in all at self level for example in the university my respect and gratitude for all vice chancellor downward including security guards and sweepers is same i talk to them wish them this is my behavior has been inspiring others in the university which university has reflected in their recently published university moves back to as far as the exercise 2 is concerned i exist body exists i read sensations and instruct the body this i could clearly see in last week when there was pain in my knee and i was reading the pain for almost half an hour thereafter i got involved in some discussion with our neighbor and forgot about pain as i was not reading but immediately once the discussion got over i had again started feeling pain with this i concluded that i am not the body and i read sensation as and when i desire happiness is my innate nature and not the fact from the outside in this regard i want to narrate one small incident while i was in air force i have gone on inspection visit to lay due to shortage of vehicle the civil vehicle civil cars were provided to us at one of the day while i was packing up the driver who was the civilian uh, on the way he asked me sir can i have a cup of tea on the way on my friend's chotu shop uh, i i asked him why you are not taken tea in the air force campus he said sir i was slightly scared i had not come out from my car and uh, that was the reason if you just agree then i can take my tea i said why not have tea he called his friend chotu probably that he was 6 to 7 years old he brought the tea for him driver had tea there after chotu came back again and he asked from the driver how is the tea that a small boy's profound statement that uh, once the driver told chai mein maza nahi aaya that boy said ki maza chai mein nahi hai मजा आपके सोच में है मजा लेने वाले को आना चाहिए एंड दिस प्रोफाउंड स्टेटमेंट ऑलवेज वेन एवर आई वेदर इट्स अ फूड और एनीथिंग एल्स दिस ऑलवेज कम इन माय माइंड कि हाउ दैट स्मॉल चाइल्ड वाज वेरी क्लियर कि खुश रहना है एंड देन एवरीथिंग वी हैव टू डू ऑफ कोर्स वन रीजन नाउ आई एम प्लानिंग टू गिव मोर टाइम ऑन माई सेल्फ एज फार एज कमिटमेंट इज कंसर्न i will continue in the morning session i am teaching this subject in university also as far as social responsibility is concerned i along with my father have been doing many social welfare works including distribution of value based story books to poor students in schools in village schools teaching to poor students meeting elders in old age homes and giving time to them giving them emotional support in february this uh, in february 24 we are planning a marriage of a poor girl whose father has expired and there is no income source we have even taken the children who are staying in remote in our village who have never seen and visited city we have taken we have brought them at jaipur for their trips and made them aware about what is happening in the city my wife has been contributing a lot for nurturing the nature including tree plantation my gratitude to all co explorer in this beautiful journey of self exploration wishing you all happy new year 2024 thank you and jai hind so now we may invite uh, sarmila didi for a position and comments ji over to you didi 
जी नमस्ते देवेंद्र जी नमस्ते शर्मिला जी इट वॉज वंडरफुल टू हेयर यूर वेरी क्रिस्प वेरी ऑनेस्ट सिंसियर एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड शेयरिंग द वन थिंग दैट आई कुड सी वेरी क्लियरली इज दैट इन दिस वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम आई मीन यू हैव जस्ट बीन थ्रू द वर्कशॉप इन मे यू आर एबल टू सी द सिग्निफिकेंस द प्रोफाउंडनेस ऑफ द कॉन्टेंट एंड आर नीड फॉर इट and go forward you know to join the morning session so that itself um, reflects on perhaps your own sanskar from before that you are able to see the significance and you are able to start doing these exercises of course like you mentioned the very first step is a very profound step and if you are really observing if you are really exploring and you are trying to be aware every moment you or anybody else will see that this is a difficult task to do it's not easy but the more we are able to be aware the more we are able to see the changes within us like you have mentioned in this very short span of time so it's really highly commendable i think and from your sharing i could get many pointers on how you are sincerely exploring and you are able to not only make changes in yourself but also able to influence so many others so being able to do this workshop arranging for um you know first of all volunteering for the workshop um seeing your role your participation in um getting you know the others to also take part in the workshops to be able to see that um this is useful for the college for all of your colleagues others in the college so uh, even one person can make a lot of difference in an institution and uh, i think um it is really good for you and for the rest of the college that you chose to volunteer to you know go and attend this workshop because it has made such an impact on you and you are carrying that forward so i think you know with this coming session in the new year starting from tomorrow um my suggestion would be and i am sure that you will be staying on and going through the exercises so each step as you go through you will be able to see more and more with more clarity i am sure of that because of the exploration like you have described in your sharing how you can get you know this exploration going within you from anywhere like you mentioned the small boy something that he mentioned now it shows that for having these kind of profound statements coming up one doesn't have to be highly educated or be in a senior position or be uh, some adult with some background rather anybody can explore anybody can um get to see such profound things that was one thing and the other thing that your own exploration can start from anywhere we can learn from children we can learn from our surroundings anybody in the surrounding the important thing is that exploration must start within us and i can see very clearly that the exploration has begun in all seriousness in you so all the very best to you for the coming sessions and i look forward to your sharings in the coming sessions and your volunteering activities in the uhb activities also all the thank, best to you thank you didi thank you 